Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another update video from me, Martin. Uh, I'm an Inkscape developer, hoping to develop uh, Inkscape features and fixes um, for users directly. Welcome to week six of the connectors updates. First of all, I want to give a big shout out, big thank, thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers and um, everybody who's helping me. Um, also a big shout out to the new subscribers who joined last, last week. Thank you all so much. This week, I continued the work from last week of improving the uh, connectors tool. But uh, I managed to actually get done the majority of the uh, scheduled work. This is the fixes for the jumps. So if you remember last week, I'd added jumps in the lines when they crossed, but the sizes were all messed up and it, the calculations just weren't correct. Uh, spent all week, weekend sort, sorting that issue out. It involved creating radiuses and then cutting those radiuses out of the lines. Um, I also added the tooling for adding custom points. So now you can select uh, an object and select the, the add node tool. Double click on the object and it'll, it'll create a, a point. And then you can drag that point around to, um, you know, create your own custom connection points. Um, that pretty much concludes the bulk of the actual contracted work. Um, and now it's just a matter of fixing so many problems created when you uh, got an entire feature out of Ink Inkscape and try and replace it. So um, big shout out to all of the people who tried the, the, the connectors build from last week. Um, to Chris, um, Johan, Adam, um, I think there was a couple of others too that I've temporarily forgotten. I'm sorry, I forgot your names. Uh, they all reported um, issues and gave me a breakdown of like where, where they were seeing problems. Uh, a lot of those issues got fixed. Uh, some of them were feature requests that I can't really deal with because I have to kind of keep the connectors work uh, at least to some reasonable degree. So there may be future work that's available to improve the connectors code along the lines that uh, these... Um, this feed feedback points out. Um, but we're heading definitely in the right direction. There are two main blocks that are missing. One is uh, the graphing. Uh, I still haven't put that back. Hopefully that's not too hard because it's a static uh, function that just repositions things depending upon whether there are connectors attached to things. Uh, and the second is the routing. So in Libavoid, you can set non-connected objects to be routed around so that the lines will try and move around them instead of going through them. Uh, this is more difficult to add back in and I'm currently playing with an implementation which uh, uh, adds an, another live path effect, a different one, but instead of this one being one that controls the lines, this one controls the avoidance of objects. Um, it isn't there yet, there's probably a lot of um, tweaking that needs to happen and it may not be the approach that ends up wor working anyway um, but I think it's a feature that needs to go back in in order to consider this to be complete because I don't think removing it is necessarily the right response even though I've rewritten most of the stuff that it's based on. Um, but apart from that uh, please do consider uh, testing the builds. The builds are looking okay. They certainly crashed less uh, and if you have any ideas for like how to improve things, you you can let me know. But know that I can't necessarily guarantee that I'll be able to work on them to you know improve the connectors tool even further than we're we're, we're trying to meet. Um, so I'm gonna probably I think scheduling wise I'm gonna work on the connectors tool for another week. Um, but maybe not more than that. We'll see. We'll see how well the, the bug fixing goes and how well we're able to sort of clean up all the last remaining issues. Uh, so if if you are interested in the connectors tool, this is your week to test it. Make sure that the problems that you find with the way that you work with Inkscape are fixed before I kind of try and move on to some other stuff and uh, start working on some of the the summertime pro pro projects. We've got a lot of exciting stuff, hopefully. Um, it's worth checking out some of the Google Summer of Code projects as well. Uh, they all have builds, right? If they have merge requests like the connectors tool that I'm showing you here, 
uh, they all has they all have builds too, and you can play play with those as well. And I encourage you to because feedback for them will be great. Uh, thank you all very much for, for watching. I realize that this is a shorter video than, than usual. Um, but until next week, thank you all.